Hello everybody and welcome back to Edward's Amazing Train. This is episode 41. And uh, yeah, we're, today we're being a bit of an inconvenience to people. Um, And yeah, we're using oil tanker today. You may be wondering, well, what, what what is so funny about oil tanker? It's not. It's the most inconvenient rail car to use, aside from the 25 ticket delivery bonus, which I get. I get 50 tickets instead of the 80. Um, but it's just an, it's the industrial rail car, industrial rail car. Everyone just calls it the oil tanker because that's where you get it from. It's basically just... But yeah, I recently reached 100k tickets. I plan to purchase the uh, Idle Rich name tag, which costs exactly 100,000. Uh, it's expensive, really, really expensive. <laughs> when you when you <laughs> outsmarted Edward Anyways, today we're going to talk about, um, instead of really playing the game, we're going to go around, I'm gonna just going to talk about different aspects of the game that I like and in particularly have uh, appealed to me and might appeal to you. So, where I find the appeal in this game, now you may be wondering, well, this is, is this like, is this, 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 is this Choo Choo Charles? No, this game is legally different from Choo Choo Charles. Um, and Two Star Games is aware of this game and they're completely fine with it. They have no issues with it. Um, what makes this game appealing to me, is it's, it's in this weird niche horror genre 
um, somewhere between uh, organic creature and me mechanical monstrosity. Um, and this is like one of those weird, it's a dis sort of dystopian, uh, the universe for this is like a dystopian, at least the islands is a dystopian timeline of sorts. So the players are introduced, uh, I think in lore the players are introduced well after Edward has sort of kind of, there was like some sort of other ship. So, they're, they're, okay, so to start off, there is a bunch of lore here and there's a lot that I won't get into this video, but what I will say is, so basically the players, the lobby at least, are the players traveling from stop to stop on perch. You're, you can purchase guns and stuff from the rail car. Railco Merchant, which is nice. I think my uh, first rail car would have your for the first rail car you're given is just a standard box car, nothing really special about it. It's low durability, but you know it does the job. Um, one of the things that, um, for me, from a starter perspective, this game can be very unfair at times, but at the same time, that's just the game. Life really isn't fair, and this game is a good representation. You're in a situation where the, what appeals to me is it's a survival situation, um, and you got to make the most of it. Run when you have to, fight when you can. Always keep moving, never stick in one cart. Uh, what else? There's, what really appears, appeals to me is the movement aspect. I used to hate the movement aspect, and especially with the added addition of the weight system. Um, which means you, guns in this game have a certain weight level. I'm running with sort of a very, what, what I would consider equate, equates to one very heavy rifle, one very heavy sniper rifle. Um, so you have to take into account the value of the weight that you're having. Um, only guns currently have weight. Player weight is dictated by the guns. Starter pistols and pistols in general will be lighter weight than say an assault rifle. There's medium assault rifles like the uh, like M16 variants um, that it, the, the amount of guns in this game really uh, you I wouldn't there, there's not necessarily there's some there were some meta gun setups up in the past but those have been nerfed. Really what this boils down to is the guns that you choose should fit with the playstyle that you choose. Um, if you're looking to survive and have basically be constantly on the move and um, say be fast, be able to do a lot of jumping around, run for longer periods of time, then you're gonna want a light and very light setup. That's partially gonna set you back a few, few hundred tickets and most likely you're gonna need to have some RNG luck with the abandoned crate. Um, I did say I was going to go in lore, but I guess we'll skip that for now. Um, yeah, Edward can basically destroy entire rail cars. Uh, I use the roofs now. The, the, using the roof of each rail car and getting roof access is sometimes paramount to, to uh, um, It's sometimes paramount to a uh, to your survival. However, in some cases, it can actually kill you if you're not careful. As you can see, we've got a bit of an oil tanker sandwich. There's health right there. Let's take it. There's also a bunch of... There's, 
I'd say that this game, so the game doesn't have really a tutorial yet. There isn't a tutorial world. I wish there was. Um, uh, but yeah. Anyways, folks, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you all enjoyed watching me play this game, discuss a little bit about it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do some, I'm going to start, I'm going to actually set up a presentation. If I'm not roasted, burnt to a crisp by Edward. I don't know. Edward likes to cook people, especially well done. we go well folks that's all the time i have for today thank you all for watching if if you if you want to see more please consider subscribing as it helps grow my channel i have a bunch of other content for those who want to check out any of my other series i plan to restart doing um the port Sol mc map gaming building vlogs pretty soon here um and hopefully we can get back on track with the development i took a little break from it and i'm ready to go back to it um we do a lot of building there, but we also do a lot of discussing of game mechanics. It gets into the more technical side of the map making that I'm doing. It's more of a development vlog, if anything else, where you get to follow along as I do things. And yeah, uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.